here goes wish me luck Apparently the best a man can get. I'll be the judge of that. So I've exposed one of my seven chins. I mean it's been a while so I'm, it's nice to see them. Not. Welcome back to my channel. Got the lovely Emmett here. Emily Emmett. A good friend who I've known a long time. We met over a Mary J Blige cassette. It was amazing, wasn't it, Emily? Yeah, it was good fun. <laughs> so, for years, I've um, wanted to do this with Emily because she is one of Newcastle's best, if not the best, makeup artists in the tune. Links are below, so make sure you check it out. I really wanted to do contoury drag sort of makeup, so I've let Emily decide what I'm having, and she is going to make us over for you guys. <laughs> e where do we start? Right, so I'm just gonna start by just doing a cleanse and everything, Ooh. just setting up setting everything up. And um, we're gonna try a little bit of um surgical tape just to pull um your face back and your brows up like this. Yeah I'm buzzing you might, um, you might need a bungee jump for some <laughs> Elastic band. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna gonna cleanse the skin first just so that sticks. Then we're gonna glue the brows down, maybe a little bit of your sideburns Ooh, slightly. I like it. Just to um so we can paint them higher up and things like that. I'm gonna colour correct a little bit round here as well. We'll use like a, an orangey colour and that gets Ooh. rid of any darkness. Is that colour correction? Is it because I've had a beard. Yeah, so okay. you can see, whenever you've had a beard as well, whenever you've got struggle, you can see a little bit of darkness yeah. on your so um, that just really, helps. I to really did, but I'm, <laughs> I really did give it a you good thought it was scruffy. Yeah, I thought it was a bit of a Harry Ram. <laughs> so Emily's been doing makeup a long time. Um, Emily, did you start off with... Um, with did you start off with MAC or did yeah, you? Yeah, I did actually. I was 19, I got a job at MAC. Loved my life, it was fab. I've worked for other brands since. Um, worked for Laura Mercia, um, Urban Decay. Yeah, are they, um, are but they I've been brands for quite a while, yeah. Good brands to work for. Yeah, really good brands. I think it's good to get a bit of experience with a few different brands because um, cause everybody trains differently and it's just good to have a varied experience. Like Max more of a fashion brand. Yeah. So they're really like, obviously they do fashion week and things like that. Laura Mercy is more, um, a little bit more like classical. Why do we do this again? So this flattens the hair. To, it's, we're, we're using an actual print stick here, by the way. Um, so this actually flattens the, the hair and sticks it to the skin. So when we put the foundation over it, we can it looks really flat in the cover, and exactly. then we can actually draw your brows higher. We need to give you more space for eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm fucking buzzing. <laughs> so you're gonna look super surprised like you've just had a. Um, I am surprised. <laughs> I've got an beard. You're gonna look like you've just had a um a round of Botox. <laughs> oh, I do need some Botox, you know. Um, I'm gonna get some. I'm trying to lose a bit of weight, and then once I've lost my weight, where are you gonna get some? Um, everywhere. Every, just your whole face, just frozen. Whole face. <laughs> yeah. But I've got to be careful doing acting because, yeah, like people will be like, "Can you look surprised?" She's, you know. <laughs> Well, she's, yeah, she's on the floor. And you're it's like, like you've got to have some type of expression, yeah. otherwise it's just like, are you happy or yeah, you sad? Yeah, just there. <laughs> you're not going to win an Oscar doing that, are you? No, me? no. Mm. Well, actually, I've I've been getting Botox since I was thirty, and I I used to uh, just get here and here, and then the last time I got it in the forehead here, and I can't move my eyebrows really? now. So, I'll, but it looks fabulous, so <laughs> can't really move them. Works as well. Yeah, that's definitely to give you a little bit of a lift there. <laughs> Don't laugh too hard, though. No, I won't. Let's see if I'm gonna get it. Fuck it down. You're gonna be able to get this on. <laughs> right, you hold the front. start with eyes first eyes. when I'm doing somebody's makeup. I'll do that primer and things like that and then I'll pop a little bit. Um, I'll do the eyes. Shall we? And we're going to do you like a nice winged lovely yeah, eye lovely. shape because you look all oriental do now. Like <laughs> so you're going to be a brand new woman. Yeah, 
bit of concealer. This one, these are the revolution ones, they're really, really good. Because I've heard loads of people say that they start with the eyes first and the uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to undo the glue, so I'm just going to use a beauty blender to dab it on. Dab. Yeah. Uh, I've just learned to floss, actually. Have you? You could floss. <laughs> you could do floss it. I could I have, I suppose. I could, honestly couldn't do it. I know. I don't know. I mean, I've tried. I just got it. I think I put my hip out. <laughs> I like the cha-cha slide at the minute. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Like when I was really young, like really young, there was um, the conga. Yeah. Um, Superman. Superman one. Gang bang, if you were at a family party and there was like a... Oh, two in the gang bang. And it was up, upside up. your head. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely an knack to it. Like right. your nana gets down and not ever like takes by people they get her back up. Oh god. I bet there were some injuries caused by that dance. Oh definitely. Definitely. That's all you need being taken out your own birthday party on a stretcher. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nine nine nine. Surprised it didn't happen to us at some point. I know, it probably did probably. <laughs> I remember. Do women like it or like do do people do this as part of the makeup routine? I don't, not really with the brow thing. No. It, it isn't something you would probably do with the brows. <laughs> right, so, so I'm just going to use a bit of colour corrector on your beard. Oh, no. This is just going to help it blend a little bit so that we can't really... You, we'll leave this to dry because it'll... Um, have you seen the colour of it? It's wow, is that? A while. So, a lot of um, Asian women use this as well. Um, Asian? Yeah, colour correction. I'm Caucasian. Yes, I know, but do you know what, if you get any dark circles... Because you do a lot of Asian wins, don't you? Yeah. yeah. If you get, like, if you have darkness to the skin, like, an area that's maybe darker than another area, mm -hmm. like, quite brownie toned, you would put a peachy or a or an orange tone like this underneath and it cancels, cancels it out. Cancels it out, yeah. yeah. You do that with hair as well, like... Yeah. It's like a colour wheel, isn't it? Yeah. That's exactly right, Liam. It's very clever. Stuff. It's very clever. Very clever stuff. It's what's opposite on the colour wheel cancels the other one out. Yeah, that's that. totally right. That's right. I Linda, mean, yeah, I try and teach my students this, and you've got it, you know what I'm Oh, already. I would know the crack. Oh, it looks like I've had a heavy women's set <laughs> after the powerhouse, doesn't it? <laughs> looks like you've been up to something. Oh, I tell you. Your skin feels lovely and softly. Did it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Been using oil of oil. Safe. Safe. Sometimes less is more though. Like I, I, I used to use any amount of product, but I just try and keep it simple now. Few. Are you still in the Mary J. Blige? <laughs> <laughs> I still like a bit of that. Yeah. And I, I, I listen to um. Actually, there's a couple of playlists on my phone that I got off Apple Music that were like nineties hip hop and R and B, and I quite like to listen yeah. to them. They were a bit of a throwback, but See, yeah. Can't beat it. No. Nah. We used to drive about, we used to listen to uh, TLC. Yeah. The first Sugar Babes album. Oh, I loved the Sugar Babes. Reminds us of you and Phil. <laughs> um, the first album. Uh -huh, definitely. And it was the original members. Yeah, <laughs> that was the best ones. Um, Drink goes and... Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, foundation. A awesome. little bit just round the top area, because obviously we're concealed and colour corrected. Yeah. So I'm just going to have a think what colour to do here. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to take it out on the towel after this. Yes, tonight. we're going to We're going to Right, so this stuff's really good because it covers tattoos as well. So it's like really good coverage, you know, it's going to cover everything. Thank God. I've got a kiss, kiss and wrap. I'm going to do a bit, like, use a bit of browns to kind of contour it out, give it, like, quite a natural look there, and then we'll add a bit of pinks in there. Champion. Just to go with the colour we are going for. What's your palette? What are you using? So this is actually, um, this is a MAC palette, obviously. I used to work for MAC, so. And this is one I made up myself with all, all my favourite kind of neutral mm. browns. We're going to do a cut crease. So we're going to do, we're going to blend some eyeshadow up here, up this way, to kind of cover the brows a bit. Yeah. Tell us more about cutting the crease. So what you're doing there is, you know how like you've got your eyelid, the moving lid, which is this part here that you can see the flat bit here. Yeah. Um, before the crease, before the socket line. What you do when you cut the crease is you do it high, you, you make a mark higher up there and fill all this part in. Charming. And it creates a, a larger lid area, so, well, the illusion of a larger lid. Mm. Yeah, because I think I've got a bit of an overhang. Yeah, I have. 
Don't be asking to deal with all these things. I know. But you can always wear your surgical tape. Yes, I will be wearing this now that I've learned. So I'm kind of bringing it like up this way, winging it out. What would people, what are people asking for at the minute? Is it because I know like smoky eyes have been, is that well, yeah, still a thing? Well yeah, still or? a thing, but I mean a lot of the young girls and stuff at the minute all want the cut creases and the um, quite full on makeup. But yeah, they're, they're kind of wanting the really, they're, they're quite, it's quite a glam look at the minute. Guys, my name, my um, drag name is going to be Melinda Can I Finger You. So what's this, what we're doing here? So I'm doing like, I'm basically on concealer, but it's a little slight bit lighter. So you can see I've put it underneath the brow to make all this part of your face a little bit lighter, which brings it forward. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit here. And then when I, when I come to do some contour, oh. it's gonna work nicely with that. When I do one of my clients, I normally, yeah. I normally um, use powders because it's a bit more natural. Where did it come from? It comes from drag makeup. Does it? Yeah. Drag queens have been contouring the faces for years just to get rid of any harsh lines and stuff and make their face look as feminine as possible. So clever. So you kind of just, you're better off, I, I see a lot of videos where people draw the light stuff and the dark stuff at the same time and then blend, but I just think that ends up, it can end up looking a bit muddy on yeah. your face, so you're better off, I think, like adding things as you go along. Let's have a little look. Um, and it doesn't get lost, it just... It, it doesn't like become a muddy pool of... Shite. Uh -huh. So we're just creating a bit of a cheekbone here. On. I always think lashes totally finish it as well. Totally, totally. That's what I think. I look dead without my lashes on. Individuals on well, yeah. mine, yeah, the Russian ones. Oh, I like a good Russian. Mm -hmm. I like the same time. Did you get it? <laughs> oh, this is looking really good. We're getting a nice high cheekbone there. Thank God for that. So if you want to slim your face down as well, you do more of the contour around around here okay. and under here. It just depends what shape face you are, so one yeah. contour doesn't suit everybody. Ah, that's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. like if a lot of people follow a video that will have a certain type of person. So a person with a certain face shape doing their contour and they'll copy it and it might make their face look a strange shape because yeah. it wasn't for them. Like I've got quite an angular jaw here, so I tend to soften that line there. Okay. Um, but it just depends what you're kind of trying to create. When you, you can get rid of like harsh lines, you can soften jaw lines, you can create jaw lines, you can, uh, anything that you put dark colour on, it, you've got to imagine that takes it back. Okay. And anything you put light on brings it forward. So it's like, it's a real art to Yeah, it. no, definitely it's a good real. I mean, some of it looks amazing on film and not so good in real life, like you it's I mean, who wants to live in real life? Exactly. Life is just a show anyway, isn't, isn't it? it? Life is just one big show. And then I'm going to do it a little bit on the nose as well. So if we do... I've got quite a big nose, haven't I? No. Like I, ha I think I have. Like, I've got a prominent nose. I look a bit witchy, I think. I do. I quite have a start to embrace mine though. And there's always contouring. <laughs> yeah, there's, always, there's always contouring. When did you get your nose ring? Um, I got, I've had it a few years now. Have you? Yeah. Did that hurt? It wasn't that bad and it was a worse. Got, oh. I did have them done, I had to take them out. But nipple, that was the most painful thing ever. Did it kill? I didn't, nearly didn't get the other one done. I was going to be lopsided. Ooh. It was so bad. I was like, ah, like in the chair. Um, oh it depends how big God. your nipples are, how much it hurts as well. Obviously, the more it's got, more nipple it's got to go through. Shit. 
Because once you start, it's like... Oh, it was really, honestly, it was the worst thing ever. I mean, I don't want to take putting the chicken on a kebab. It's like... Oh, that. well, that's what it was like, basically. Mm. It made us ill. I was like, what have I done? And they looked really nice, though. Did they? Yeah. So if, if you had children and you had a nipple ring, would the milk squirt out? You'd, you have to, probably, yeah. I think you have to take it out, though, because your boobs swell and grow. Right. Um, I think you've got more chance of infection, like getting mastitis. Which a lot of women get from breastfeeding and things. Bit sore. It's not what you want, is it? It's not, no. <laughs> it's not ideal. It's not ideal, no. Especially not when you've got a hungry baby trying to feed off it as no. well at the same time. <laughs> Bad as vagina off child. Exactly. Just hey. feeling like you've just been in a car crash, Aye. basically. Someone's hoofed you in between <laughs> the legs. Oh, and you feel all glamorous about it, yeah. not at all. Exactly. No time to do contouring. Definitely not. <laughs> Barely got time to bloody wash. <laughs> right, so this is looking fabulous. Right, I'm gonna... <laughs>